Hey, 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 my name is Chen Wei, and welcome back to the Rich Witch Show. Yeah. Welcome back, welcome back. On my, on my shades, a little bit informal, yes, we're going to tighten them off because I want you to look into my eyes. Did you guys know there was something called irisology where you can literally study the eyes of someone and know what's going on in their body? Anyway, let's get into these eyes, honey. Let's get into this Neptunian energy. Ooh, Neptune might have a message coming through. Some expansion, some illusions being broken, taking off the shades, taking off those rose-colored glasses, seeing some truth about something. We also have a lot of pink and red, so there's some, some root chakra and some heart chakra energy going on here. You may be seeing the truth about somebody, but I really feel it's a positive truth with these light, uplifting colors. It's a positive truth. In this blue, you're going to be speaking up about something that you want. Okay, impromptu two message we can't even get into the show what's up y'all my name is chen Wei, aka chen weezy aka madam weezy aka the rich witch and you is now tuned in to the rich witch show where we make the magical practical yes welcome to the eighth episode and the first episode in our intro to spirituality lecture series for the months of june and july i'm so excited about what we have coming up for the next couple of months i told y'all i'm capitalizing off this jupiter and pisces energy you've got questions well guess what your higher self has answers all right so make sure you are watching every single episode of the rich with show coming up with this wind blowing yes honey there's information for you also if there are more questions that you have that this general information is not addressing please don't be scared to book a tarot or birth chart reading with yours truly i will also be posted at events doing readings around the atlanta area so make sure you're watching my social media the rich with shows social media in order to keep up with all those happenings that's the housekeeping i have really 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 sincerely missed y'all and i want to thank you for being here with me today i'm really 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 excited to be back we're going to be talking about gemini season i told y'all when i when i was a little more clear on the energy i would talk about it um we're also going to talk about retrograde season all these planets in retrograde what the hell thank you fly what the hell does that mean we're going to talk about it um we also have a performance by yours truly a song called that's life and when it comes to get real and heal we're gonna talk about the number one rule. The first thing you need to know about spirituality and what the hell even is spirituality. That's what we're talking about today. Um, so that way as you're embarking upon your journey, you are not uh, being led astray, you feel me? by your own doubts, by your own worries. Um, and then we're gonna magnify the magic and do some tarot talk, see what messages come through. Might be a lot of impromptu messages. Also, I'm blonde now, y'all, okay? I'm blonde and after I went blonde, it came to me that this is me embodying, literally embodying my solar plexus energy with this yellow golden energy, okay? So you could really be stepping into your divine masculine energy or your divine masculine could really be waking up and taking charge and, excuse me, yes, being that provider. So I'm happy for you. I'm happy for me. Um, but before we jump into any of that, you know we got to thank our ancestors, thank Archangel Michael, um, thank our higher self. My grandma Elsie, um, my Kuku Mujaji, and Archangel Michael a lot especially. He's um, been very clear and direct. And I really, really thank him for um, bringing us here today, orchestrating these messages. And you know I got to thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your devotion, your support. Thank you to everyone who's been rocking with me. I genuinely, genuinely appreciate it. Everybody that has booked readings with me. I'm grateful. Birth chart readings. Thank you so, so, so much. So without further ado let's get into planet power welcome back welcome back to the rich fish show i am your host chen wei this is what we make the magical practical and right now we is in planet power yes so first of all let's touch on gemini season okay so we definitely have this energy of double up because you know gemini is that twin energy okay double up turn a seven to a 14 y'all gonna see my tiktok videos okay as the revelations come um, I, I, I specify more as the, the energies reveal itself to me as far as astrology is concerned on TikTok. Where here on The Rich Wish Show, I give you general information um, and it just continues to unfold. So keep up with both things. But anyway, double up. Um, also, Gemini, you know, in the tarot represents the lovers. And the lovers chord, number six in the, in the major arcana, is, making, is about making good decisions. So that's what I'm really getting for Gemini season is that 
you've got to make choices. You've got to make choices that align with your happiness. Um, and that's pretty much it, okay? Don't think too hard down the road because Gemini can also, you know, it's ruled by Mercury. So it might cause you to want to wanna overthink things, especially with Mercury being in retrograde. You might want to overthink. But don't overthink. Just do. Just dive into the fear. Dive into what makes you feel good um, because right now you might be experiencing a lot of resistance, but that's because you're leveling up. And so... Okay, we just changed from like a to to our Spanish accent in the middle of the of the thing. Okay, so you're being asked to level up here, and so you might have some hesitancy or some anxiety or some worry, but really the only thing that matters is does it make you feel good? Does it make you happy? You've established this discipline during Taurus season. You've established speaking up and knowing what you want during that April attracting. So. You've gotten rooted, you've gotten grounded in who you are, right? With the root chakra energy we're talking about in May. So now we're talking about our solar plexus and our throat chakra, speaking of for what it is that we want, okay? And not being afraid to take it. And, and right now, as you level up, there's gonna be things that are new and different because you're in a new and different space. And so you might be afraid to jump, but just remember that if it feels good to just try anyway, whether it work out or not, you're gonna feel so much better um, once you just take the leap of faith. So whatever it is that you are contemplating about, could be relationship-wise, you don't want to get your feelings hurt, it could be a job, it could be anything where you just don't want to get disappointed or let down. Um, but there's no harm in shooting your shot. That's what I'm going to say on that. All right, so we talked about Pluto retrograde and Capricorn. Um, did we talk about it on the show? I know I talked about it on TikTok. Did we talk about it on the show? Um, that's exposing the cracks in the foundation, okay? But we've already known that energy is coming because of that rooted, getting rooted energy. So we know um, where the cracks are, okay? So that's that, exposing friendships, exposing what's been going on behind the scenes, um, really rebuilding your financial structure as well, heavily. Mercury in retrograde, um, it's just asking you to slow down and think. Mercury retrograde in Gemini as well. So um, your mind could be going double time, but I would say capitalize on this energy of Mercury slowing down to where you're able to make really sound judgment choices, okay? This Mercury retrograde should give you more confident in the choices you're making. It also means take your time. That's why they say don't sign contracts during this time. Leave earlier if you're going certain places. Back up all your information because you really need to slow down and make intentional, deliberate decisions with Mercury retrograde. Saturn in retrograde um, in Aquarius, um, I think it's already there. I know Jupiter and Neptune will be later in the month, so we'll talk about that later. So we'll just hit on Saturn. Saturn retrograde in Aquarius. Um, this is about e re-evaluating your beliefs, re-evaluating that structure with Pluto and Capricorn, reviewing a lot of lessons as well from the past and using prior knowledge to help your judgment on the choices that you are making now. Okay, Saturn is not here to beat up on you. Saturn trusts you. Saturn wants you to trust yourself, that you have learned these lessons, that you are disciplined, that you are knowledgeable. And so use wisdom with Jupiter and Pisces. Use wisdom from the past to make great sound decisions for yourself and use the fact that you even have that wisdom, have those experiences to know that the decisions, the decisions that I am making now are sound and just and I can trust myself because you already know you can trust yourself, okay? So the retrograde energy is not anything to be afraid of. It just really wants you to make solid decisions. Because the decisions that you make now will impact you in the long term, which is probably where this anxiety um, is coming from that I was picking up on with that Gemini energy, which is probably where you're getting this anxiety from because you know, okay, the decisions that I make now is going to impact me in the long run. I know that this isn't just somebody that I'm dating. This is somebody I could be potentially marrying. I know this isn't just an apartment. I know this is where I could possibly be, possibly be starting my family. And so... Um, Maybe I want to buy a house. Maybe I don't. So the decisions that you're making now, the choices that you're making now about your life are going to impact you long term. But make the decision based off your happiness in this moment. I know people say feelings change, but right now you can't let your mind run amok. 
So you've got to go with what feels right um, because that is your spirit guiding you. Don't go with what's giving you anxiety. Go with what feels right and trust it because your mind's going to be going all over the place because you're doing something new. Solar plexus, ego. You're, you're doing something new and so you're going to be freaked out. That's why you got to go with what feels right. Okay? Can't trust your mind right now. Not right now. Okay, you can't make logical decisions on things you've never done before. You feel me? That's why we have to use the wisdom from the past to apply it to new things that are happening now. Do you understand? I think y'all understand what I'm saying. Okay, good. So that has been Plenty Power. And right now we're going to get into this performance called That's Life by your girl Chin Wei. So I hope that you like it. We'll be back in a second Mwah! on the Rich Witch Show. Oh, sleep. I ain't slept in weeks. I can't place my feet on the ground. Now I'm weak. Downloads on repeat. Even when I dream, all I see is everything. Do you know what that feel like? <laughs> Tossing and turning all night. Is that when your spirit come to life? But even in the dark, you can still see the light. Yeah, now I can't tell the difference between my mind and my feelings. I think this another level of consciousness. So for the next cycle, I'm well equipped. Hey, so bring it, bring it on. I ain't got nowhere to be than to write this song. Intuition's telling me where I belong. It's the one that's been steering, been driving all along. That's life. That and you're free. Gotta give up command so you could just be living in abundance and prosperity. True integration, mind, soul, and body. That's nice. So let your soul glow. Ain't worry about impressing no so and so. Remember that season when they told you no. It's not the same reason you rocking out shows. Hey, do you know what that feel like? When God brought you through and gave you new life. Working through you so you can hold light. Only matrix we owed up is crystalline. Yeah. Oh, your social construct. And your group think I tell you what matters. Being in sync with the moon and the trees. Moving with the tide and the sea. So even when you tie, you'll see how you align with the planets. Ashes to ashes and stardust to stardust. Roy G. Biv is your chakras. But that ain't what they taught us. Hey, so bring it, bring it on. I ain't got no other beat than to write this song. Intuition's telling me where I belong. The one that's been steering, been guiding all along. That's life. Setting you free, gotta give up command So you can just be living in abundance and prosperity True integration, mind, soul, and body Integration of mind, soul, and body Doesn't happen on my maiden Instead it converges with divine timing With source, we are all alive I ain't got nowhere to be than to write this song. Intuition's telling me where I belong. It's the one that's been steering me, got it all along. It's, it's been setting you free, so you can just be. Hey, true integration, mind, soul, and body, that's life. So bring it, bring it on. I ain't got nowhere to be than to write this song. Intuition's telling me where I belong. It's the one that's been staring, been guiding all along. That's life. Hey, setting you free. You gotta give up command so you can just be uh, living in abundance and prosperity. True integration, my soul and body. Eh. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Hope that y'all enjoyed that performance. Um, the reason why that's life was selected was because it mentions how we're connected to the moon and the trees moving with the tide in the sea so even when you tie you'll see how you align with the planets ashes to ashes and stardust to stardust roy g biv is your chakras but that ain't what they taught us all right so right now before i forget it's time to get real and heal hey give me some give me some give me some okay because i forgot to do that last time okay so let's get real and heal and get into this song okay so since we're doing intro to spirituality i'm so excited look at me just beaming i wanted to get back to the basics okay and what the hell even is spirituality i kind of touched on it in that song just really understanding how in tune you are coming into awareness of how in tune you are that is what spirituality is so the definition that i have for spirituality is ways to connect with yourself big s 
various methods, ways, uh, tools that you use to connect or reconnect with your self. Big S. Thank you, Train. Your soul, your spirit. What is spirit? We talked about spirit when we were talking about the um, Northern Cardinal during the Attraction Series. Your spirit is your life force energy, your power that flows um, through your veins. So reconnecting with that blood of Jesus, Ascended Master, 333 could be significant. The number seven could be significant. The number five could be significant. And the number one, 375 and one. I've been seeing 333 um, as well as sevens. I'm getting seven real heavily. Um, so... Yeah, I'm getting seven. There go, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. So, basically, spirituality is just the way to connect with yourself. That's what esotericism is, okay? Um, and you can create, with spirituality, you can create your own religion. These are rituals that you do. These are your beliefs. This is um, what you believe in. I do a, moon, a new and a full moon ritual every month because this is a part of my my religion this is a part of my spirituality what gives me life force energy what helps me feel connected to myself and it's not going to be the same for everyone and that is the difference between spirituality and religion spirituality is based on the individual spirit the individual soul the individual fire that makes you feel connected to what is greater than you what makes you feel connected to the infiniteness and the abundance that is in the and the universal consciousness intelligence seventh consciousness seventh layer of consciousness that is you at your most rawest lovely essence do you understand um so that's what i interpret spirituality to mean now how did i get into spirituality well i mean we've always been spiritual like i said we just come into awareness of these things but this journey that i've been on for the past couple of years really got kicked off when i by the grace of god left an abusive relationship so i was in an abusive relationship from 2018 to 2019 and excuse me hey archangel michael let me know i'm protected yes while i talk about this i know that's right never again you feel me um I also have a podcast that's more in depth on this so check it out if you want to know some signs that you or someone you love might be in it and what to do about that there i do have a podcast on that it's called about abuse um link below so check it out please be safe sending lots of love and healing energy to you and your loved ones um who may be in that unfortunate situation um so anyway this particular person used religion to um manipulate me and 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 suppress me and oppress me and make me feel less than um for instance according to the bible women are not supposed to say no to their husbands so i mean there was a lot of interrelational rape going on right so i got to a point where my body didn't feel like myself not just my mind my spirit financial abuse um where this person has all the money this person you're living in this person's home and so you're made to not feel like you're welcome in that home that you're in nothing you do is good enough um and religion was used uh god told me it was okay to slap you like verbatim um and it wasn't until well, there were a couple of incidents, incidences that I knew that I was protected. But, you know, it still doesn't click when you're in that type of situation until it's ready for it to click. Um, and one trigger warning, he was on top of me. and He was slapping me and choking me. He's like, you ain't shit but a hoe. You know that. And I shook my head no. And he's like, what do you mean no? Because I told y'all, you know, women are not supposed to say no to their man. I said, no, I'm a child of God. And at that moment, I saw the demon leave his eyes and he said you're right i'm so sorry and that's not to absolve him of his actions but i'm just going to show you that protection is real and i don't know where that came from i don't know you know where those words came from it was word vomit but that's been my experience with that's what i'm saying like we've always been in our spirituality knowing who we are but we sometimes just don't know it and that's why we'll accept bullshit um but what really broke up our relationship not the abuse not putting his hands on me or telling me i wasn't shit let me tell you what broke it was when one day i said oh your sister was such and such in the past life and he got so offended he's like i asked you when we first started dating if you were a christian i said i am i was at the time i am um 
He said, no, because Christians believe in heaven or hell. And when you die, that's it. You don't come back. I said, well, I've heard you say that, oh, such and such has an old soul or they've been here before. I said, what do you think that means when you say that or old black women in the church say stuff like that? Oh, well, I never thought about it. I said, yeah, apparently, because obviously that's alluding to reincarnation. How can you be an old soul if you're a new fresh soul having a new fresh experience? How could you have been somewhere before if you don't reincarnate? That's just my take. That's my belief, Saturn and Aquarius. That's my belief. Um, so that was where I was like, oh my God, I think we're not compatible. Um, it had nothing to do with him putting his hands on me or totally degrading me or us just having totally different perspectives on the world or opinions or likes and music. It was the fact that he did not agree with reincarnation. And I was like, I don't think we could be together. <laughs> and I mean, it's funny. <laughs> You have to laugh um, at what your non-negotiables are, which could also be this Saturn and Aquarius energy retrograde, when it goes retrograde, or if it is retrograde, saying, what are your non-negotiables? Slow down. What are your beliefs? Based off the experiences that you've had, Jupiter and Pisces, especially with your spirituality, what are your non-negotiables? That is a non-negotiable for me. And I didn't even realize it. Shoot, I'm just now really realizing it. I didn't notice this had a button. It's really cute. So that really sent me on a whole spiral of um wow <laughs> we we can't be together um so from there it got to a point where i was like okay god i'm not strong enough to leave but if i need to leave i need you to help me and a couple hours later after i had told him that i had been raped in college he said i think you need to go home he couldn't even handle that information um because I was, I don't know. I, I guess I told him I'd been raped and he processed it as I was a hoe or something I, or I was wrong or I couldn't handle myself or I don't know. I don't know what goes through crazy people's heads. Okay. And if I understood, I don't think that would be a good thing. But a couple hours later, he said, I think you need to go stay with your dad for a while. And I looked up and I said, you ain't got to tell me twice. And I packed up my shit and I left. Most people don't make it out alive. And I didn't realize that until after I got out. Like, and I did my research. I said, oh my God, this checks all the abusive mark relationships. And people have been trying to tell me, but I couldn't. I couldn't hear. I couldn't see. Had my rose colored glasses on. Where they at? Had my rose colored shades on. Okay, so spirituality really helped me take the shades off. Come into clearness about who I am, about who people are. And really see them um, for who they are so and who they are in my life because everybody has a different relationship with everybody and you see different sides of people but spirituality has helped me to see the truth about people because now i see the truth about myself chiron and aries yes first house energy yes so anyway that was 2019 so the summer my mother you know she sent me some clips from abraham abraham hicks okay i think that's how everybody gets introduced or you know the people that i know it was abraham and i didn't understand what she was saying but i knew she was saying something and then from there tarot showed up on my on my youtube feed around september 2019 i said huh i saw virgo and i just clicked on it because you know i love me some virgo um, and I said, wow, this really resonates. And from there, I ran down a spiral. And then I started doing moon rituals. I started with the full moon rituals. And I started doing new moon rituals. And then in 2020, it just, I started reading cards myself around February 2020. And then it's just been a beautiful, evolving story, Butterfly Lotus. And then I stumbled upon the Ritual Show um, November, end of October, November 2020, but I didn't put it into motion until March of this year because I was waiting on other people to believe in me. So that has been my experience with spirituality, spirituality. And what I have learned um, from that is one, you have to follow yourself. Two, you have to follow the breadcrumbs that are laid before you. And this is especially important because this is a big part of trusting yourself, coming into that awareness of trusting yourself. Um, because when I started reading cards, my dad condemned me to hell and he told me that was not the thing to do and that's why we didn't speak for a year, but I did it anyway. And yes, Tarot and I had a rocky start, um, but I knew 
that no matter what my dad said or anybody who was afraid of this thing said, I knew that I had good intentions. Like we talk about when we do magnify the magic. What is your intention? My intention is not to take over the world and trick nobody into listening to what I have to say. My intention is to do things the right way. My intention is to call upon my archangels at the beginning of this show. My intention is to teach. My intention is to be vulnerable. My intention is to be as clear and transparent as crystal clear quartz as possible. My intention is to follow my destiny with this pyrite, okay? That is my intention. My intention is to know that I am protected. And that is the number one rule of spirituality. The number one rule of spirituality is your intention. Be clear. Did my daddy house. What is your intention? When you get a reading, what's your intention? When you watch a reading, what's your intention? That is energy. That is karma. Like we've been talking about a lot of things. You've got a lot of people that I've been encountering and I'm so grateful for all these people I've been meeting. A lot of people have good things coming to them, regardless of how they acted or felt or what they did on the physical plane. They've got beautiful things coming to them because energetically, their intentions were pure. Energetically, their intentions were pure. Energetically, their intentions were pure. What are your intentions? Who are you talking to? Who are you calling on? What portal are you opening up? Who are you? Because when my mama said, when you turn the light on, it's going to attract all types of stuff. You know, when you turn the light on, you attract moths, bugs, um, critters. You attract everything when you turn on your light. So when you turn on your solar plexus, when you turn on your power, you got to be specific and intentional about who you're attracting. It doesn't mean everybody won't go get through. But guess what? We know how to protect our energy so it don't even matter. But the number one rule of spirituality is to be intentional. What is your intention? Why do you want to do this? And that is your assignment to journal. What has brought you on this path? Do some tapping if you need to. But really free write. What has brought you on this path? Why did you start? Remember when they say, when you want to quit, thank you, train. When you want to quit, look back at why you started. I have to do that all the time with my show. Sometimes I'll be like, Ugh, I ain't getting no views. What's the point? I love my show so much. And my family, most of the people that's closest to me don't even watch it. The people who I talk to see every day, they don't watch it. It'd be people I don't know. And that kind of hurts and I'd be wanting to quit sometimes. And I'm like, well, why did I start this show? What does this show do for me? What was my intention? Why did it make me happy? Why was it something I fought for, I pushed for in the beginning anyway? And sometimes that can get lost in the sauce. Your why can get lost in the sauce. But that's why I want you to set the habit now of knowing your why. Your intention is just knowing your why for doing something. That is the number one rule. Set your intentions. So that way, no matter what happens in the physical, no matter how frustrated you get, you might cuss somebody out. You might cuss yourself out. But you know that deep down in your heart, in your gut, in your sacral, in every part of your being, you meant well. What is your intention? That is the number one rule before you pick up a tarot deck, before you pick up a crystal, before you pick up a pendulum, before you pick up a damn Ouija board, whatever it is that you into, before you read a Bible verse. Because like I said, those same Bible verses that I grew up on reading and really coming to appreciate now because I love reading and doing research and I love reading about Jesus as an ascended master. And I loved reading those stories because I love to read. And thus what I was raised on as well, we didn't go to church a lot, but I did have to read the Bible and interpret the text on every morning on the way to school, interestingly enough, even though we didn't go to church. So those same Bible verses were used to oppress me when I dated my ex, and now they're being used to empower me again. But guess what? It's all about the intention. You could take something with this Gemini energy and flip it either way. That's why I'm saying choose happiness, choose well intent, because it could go either way. And you could logically, with Gemini having that dual opposing energy um, or dichotomous, ooh, yeah. <laughs> I 
don't even know if that's a word, but I like it. This dichotomous energy, you could find a way to justify doing the wrong thing just as much as you could justify doing the right thing. So Gemini is asking you to make a choice. What path do you want to walk down, two of wands? Okay, let me go and get my deck because right now it's time for tarot talk, honey. And your girl is going to be right back. Welcome back to the Rich Wish Show. Uh, well, we make the magical practical. I am your host, Chinwe, aka Chinweezy. And we're going to pull some cards. We're going to pull from the self care deck first. Do y'all like my little pouch? It says good vibes. I keep my cards in here because I like that energy. Um, okay, so what made me feel compelled to pull my cards? First of all, Archangel Michael wanted me to put these shades on and let you know you was a rock star. I'm a rock star. I'm a rock star. Y'all know that Beyonce song or is that before y'all time? Hip hop star. I'm a rock star. Do I blow you away? The name Michael could be significant for you. I'm getting a lot of Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, Rhythm Nation vibes. You could be finding your rhythm. Finding your rhythm on how to make decisions. That's really beautiful. You are definitely finding your rhythm on how to make decisions. You have learned yourself with that Taurus energy. You have learned what works for you. And so you are, yeah, learning, finding a rhythm. Overcoming fear when it comes to making decisions. Really finding a rhythm. I love that. Wow, a rhythm. With that two energy. Remember I said you got to make a choice? Two of wands. That two, that two, that dichotomous energy, that caduceus energy. Really finding your rhythm between your divine masculine and your divine feminine as well. Learning how to, learning how to attract and when to attract how to attract and when to go after what you want there's a oh yes i got a spasm in my leg so there's a difference between when it's time to attract and when it's time to chase a little bit um there has to be balance in everything so we've been talking about attracting 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 because i feel as though we had not feel as though we had bad habits of constantly chasing pluto retrograde and capricorn that structure the way you go about things well now you know okay there's different ways to go about things i can attract certain things and there are certain things that maybe i got to put a little effort into so maybe there's something that you don't want to choose because you might have to put a little effort into it and you don't feel like doing that because you're sitting on your high horse heavy in your ego energy well sometimes you got to humble yourself Sometimes you got to humble that ego. Yes, you are meant to attract. Yes, you are a master attractor. Um, but sometimes you might have to go after what you want a little bit. It doesn't mean force it. It doesn't mean push it. You still got to be patient with that number seven. Use your hands. <clears throat> At the bottom of the neck. I was thinking that. Okay, so this is dirty. This is rated R. Honestly, and I'll say it in the British accent, so it's a little more. <laughs> it doesn't sound as risque. So when I first saw this, before I even saw the sex at the bottom of the deck, I was thinking about, as the Ellis's say, do y'all watch the Ellis's on YouTube? They're an adorable couple. Um, they say, they call it cracking the pepper. <laughs> this is what I thought about. Oh my God, with the birds chirping. That's what I thought about when I saw this. I thought about cracking the pepper, using those hands, a um, lot of touch. Could also be rolling up, cooking, just getting very physical. Very, very, very physical. Very physical. Um, I honestly feel that was pretty self-explanatory, but I'm gonna pull just a couple of tarot cards just to clarify even further. So we gotta use your hands as well as a uh, sex. So, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory there. Crack that pepper, honey. Don't be shy, try something new. If you are in a relationship, if you're not in a relationship, try something new. Okay, this wanted to come out the first time um, but I didn't take it. This time it kind of fell out in reverse. We have the Ten of Swords. 
as well as the Ten of Wands. This is anxiety. This is anxiety. Um, this is overwhelm. This is overwhelm, anxiety. I think with this 10th house energy as well, ruled by Capricorn. Oh my God, 10th house is ruled by Capricorn, y'all. Structure, foundation. And I was thinking, because, you know, structure, foundation, I was thinking you care too much about what other people think or what other people say or the way other people do things. This is what I was thinking when I saw both of these together. You're allowing what other people say or think or do or the way they do things to overwhelm you particularly as it pertains to sex or your career excuse me yes what are your beliefs with that saturn energy what are your beliefs around sex and money gender roles what whoa what are your beliefs around gender roles this is another assignment. I need you to write down what gender roles are for you. What do you want your relationship, which is what you want your relationship to look like? Because a lot of times we don't know, we haven't seen the relationship that we want. So we think it's impossible when really everybody is just living. I am confusion. Everybody is living in confusion because they're following what somebody else says the gender roles, the gender norms are. You got to write down what your gender roles are. You got to do what feels comfortable for you. And that's where this stress and this anxiety is coming from. But with this being in reverse, you're trying to let go of that. You're trying to let go of what other people think is important. And that's why it can be stressful and it can be overwhelming. Um, but you got to make a decision here. You're going to make the right decision here with the world and the three of cups. Yeah, might be getting back with somebody. <laughs> But yeah, I think you're stressed because you're worried about what the world says about this. What other people say. What's the structure around this? Well, there's cracks in that foundation. Pluto and Capricorn is retrograde and Capricorn is exposing the cracks in the foundation. Um, and Pluto also is ruled by uh, rules Scorpio or is ruled by Scorpio. Pluto represents Scorpio. That deals with sex. That deals with joint resources. Um, so like I said, what are your gender roles? Choose. Choose what you want your relationships to look like moving forward um, based on what makes you happy, based on what has made you happy. Use the past and the present. Use your past feelings and the, I'm sorry, past logic, present feelings. Past logic, present feelings to create new systems for yourself. Love that formula. Past logic, present feelings. Okay? Love that. Love that love that because our feelings are very present feelings change but guess what feelings are the most present that we can be you can rationalize what happened in the past all day long don't try and rationalize what's happening in the present though feel it enjoy it live in that moment love that okay that's what we have for tarot talk i really 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 enjoy that last but not least <clears throat> it's time to turn down for what to magnify the magic now y'all know how magnify the magic goes we only have noise going on in the neighborhood when it's time to do what group hypnosis only basketball seriously anyway magnify the magic is a group hypnosis um where it's called magnify the magic i haven't been explaining this because where two or more are gathered we are able to magnify our intentions you feel me you feel me um, group hypnosis. Hypnosis is just a trance. We go into trances when we drive, when we sleep, when we daydream, when we drink, when we watch TV, when we scroll in on social media. We go into trances all the time, honey. So it's nothing to be alarmed of when you drive home. You don't even know how you got home. Your ass went to a hypnotic trance, honey. So I'm not trying to take over the world when we do this hypnotic trance together, okay? I don't have to do that in no sly, evil type of way. I told y'all I would use my class, my talents, my grace my charm and permission from the universe to change this world okay so what i want you to do is think of an intention i'm gonna count down from five in between each statement i will say i am grateful for the abundance of and you will fill in the blank either in your mind or out loud i am most powerful statement in the universe grateful for gratitude fastest way to raise your vibration so that you can attract that intention honey and 
the abundance of when you acknowledge the abundance all around you then more abundance can flow to you because now it's in your rear view it's in your periphery it's like when you say oh i want a bmw and then all of a sudden it seems like it's bmws everywhere that's what abundance does when you acknowledge it okay so take a deep breath you got your intention ready we're gonna count down and we're gonna magnify that magic i'm excited y'all because i'm tired of talking okay five <laughs> i am grateful for the abundance of four i am grateful for the abundance of three i am grateful for the abundance of two I am grateful for the abundance of I am grateful for the abundance of when I snap my fingers you will enter into your hypnotic trance and we will magnify the magic together When you are ready, open your eyes. I'm gonna count you up to five. One, two, three, four, five. Welcome back, welcome back to The Rich With Show where we make the magical practical. And I am your host, Chen Weezy. I'm so glad that you could join me. How was your meditation? Was it good? I feel refreshed. Um, there's some music playing in the background, but I don't know. It's just really peaceful and tranquil. So I just feel that's your energy. Four of Wands, home, peace, four of swords, just chilling. Just even if you got a lot to do, just really having this inner peace um, and strength and security. Security. But that has been episode eight of the Rich Fitch Show. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in. 
I will see y'all next week when we talk about some more spirituality. I don't even know what I'm talking about next week. I have it written down on my Google Docs, but I don't have it with me. So next week, we're going to be talking about some more spirituality stuff. Make sure you follow us on all social media. I'm still accepting applications for interns. Shout out to the people that have already turned in their applications. Um, I am going around doing um parties if you want somebody to come and read um do readings at a party or function that you're having please let me know that seems to be the wave so i'm excited about that if you want to book a tarot or individual um birth chart reading please do so that information is below um i think that's all i love y'all so much i'm sending you so much love and healing energy i will see you on the other side Mwah. easy out Whoa, it's the rich with show. Where we make the magic of radical